A few months ago I made a video in which I tested some external microphones for the Canon G7X Mark III. But I didn't really pick a winner because some microphones didn't even work, some microphones were impossible to mount on the camera and another solution was way too clunky to use in a vlogging situation. But this time I think we have a winner. So the previous video I made about the microphones for the G7X Mark III was my first tech review ever and it was also my first video in English ever. So for my Dutch regular viewers I would like to say this video is misschien voor jou niet zo interessant, maar leuk dat je alsnog kijkt. So this new Canon camera is one of the very few point and shoot cameras available on the market which has a microphone input. And that's great news because the built-in microphone on top of the camera underneath this dead cat is actually pretty awful, especially in noisy situations with a lot of background music, a lot of people in the room. It often sounds like this. In my previous video I tested some microphones but none of them were really ideal. But maybe I was a little too fast with the review because I actually did oversee a pretty good option and some new stuff has been released, especially for the G7X Mark III. I tested the Ceremonic Smart Mic Mobile, which looks like this one, but it didn't work with the camera because, as the name should have told me, it's a microphone for a smartphone. You can tell the difference if you look at the plug. You can see the plug for a smartphone has three black rings on it, and a regular plug has two black rings on it. And this one will work with your camera. So I got a lot of comments on my last video, thank you for that, telling me there is a version of the Ceremonic microphone that will work with the G7X Mark III because it has a TRS connector, two black rings, uh, we, in Dutch we call it a mini jack, um, and this one sounds like this. This is the sound test with the Ceremonic microphone pointed right at me and I'm talking uh, medium to loud, I think I could talk a little softer and it sounds like this. And this is the built-in microphone from the G7X. But it's pretty silent here, so it probably sounds all right. And one more time, this is the sound with the Ceremonic microphone in the G7X. It is an omnidirectional microphone, so it records sound from all around. Uh, so I thought it would be important to test it in a situation with a lot of noise, like traffic noise. Testing the smallest microphone of this review, the Ceremonic. Uh, outside there is some traffic, you can probably still hear it because it also records a little bit from the back. And this is how the Ceremonic microphone sounds on the G7X. And this is comparing to the internal sound of the camera without microphone plugged in. It sounds like this. So it does pick up some traffic noise. I think the best thing about this microphone is that it's very small. You can plug it right in and you can easily twist and turn it. Uh, if you're interviewing someone, you can put it like this. If you're talking, you can put it like that. But you have to be careful, there is some handling noise. If you touch the microphone or uh, shake the camera too much, there will be a, a kind of a rumbling noise coming from the microphone. This is when I touch the microphone and when I try to put it in another direction, it will sound like this. If I shake the camera, it will sound like this. So you have to put it in the right direction, keep it still and then start recording. That's maybe a bit of a disadvantage. But together with the tiny little windshield, the microphone costs about 30 euros, which is not a lot, I think. And uh, I think in a lot of situations, it's a better option than the built-in microphone. I always carry it with me because it's just so small, it doesn't take up any space. You can put it in your pocket or your backpack. So it's a good option, it's not perfect. Last time I talked about this bracket from Hama. You can screw it under your camera. So this will allow you to mount any microphone or light or anything with a cold tube connector to your camera. Which is pretty nice, except what I don't like about this setup, uh, it's quite clunky as well, but the microphone is very much off-center. So if you're interviewing someone, it points not exactly to the person you're interviewing, which actually makes quite a difference with a unidirectional microphone. And also the bracket blocks your memory card and your battery on the bottom of the camera. But now 
there is this thing. It's a cold shoe mount from Uric R16, I think it's called. Uh, links are in the description. And it is somewhat similar to the Hama bracket, except this one was made for the G7X Mark III. It fits very nicely on the camera. You just have to screw it on and it's very nice and tight. You can still easily reach the battery and the memory card on the bottom of the camera. You can still attach a tripod and it doesn't block any of the inputs or outputs on the side of the camera. I ordered it from the U-Rig website. I think it was $20. It's a pretty nice piece of equipment. Uh, it's so lightweight and it's not blocking anything. So I actually always leave it on and now I can attach any microphone I want on the side of the camera. So what microphone would be the best option for the G7X with the U-Rig uh, mount? I think it would be the Rode Video Micro. It's very small, it's very lightweight, it's 50 to 60 euros, so it's not that expensive. Uh, it's good quality because it's from Rode, you know that, and it's unidirectional, so that's very nice on a camera like this. You can mount it on the camera like this, put in the cable. Someone told me in the comments you should attach the cable to the uh, shock mount like this, so it's way more sturdy. And this is a pretty great vlogging setup. Testing, testing the Rode Video Micro on the Canon G7X Mark III. It sounds like this. And the internal microphone of the G7X sounds like this. And back to the Rode Video Micro, it sounds like this. You are listening to the outside audio of the Rode Video Micro on the G7X and it sounds like this. So this is the internal audio of the Canon G7X in an outside situation with some traffic, some planes, there's actually some wind, bikes, children. There's only one downside. The shock mount is so big, you can't put your camera down on a flat surface like on the table or uh, on the closet or something. And maybe that's just a minor problem for you, but for me it makes the whole setup a little less portable uh, because you just can't put your camera away for a few minutes. I also got sent this package. It's actually a complete vlogging setup for your phone, but there's something in there that will work very nicely with the G7X. It's the Comica CVM VM10 K2 multifunction smartphone video kit. In the package, there's a nice case with a small tripod from Comica. Then there's this thing to attach your phone. I have a pretty large phone, but it works. And then you can attach the tripod. And of course, there's a microphone with the shock mount. And also in the package, there's a small pop filter for the microphone. And there's also a pretty nice wind filter for the microphone. And if you compare this dead cat to the dead cat that comes with the video micro from Rode. This is very nice and portable. There's only one small problem. My iPhone doesn't have a jack input for this cable. But if you only use a microphone and you change this cable, the smart cable, to a normal jack cable, this microphone will actually fit very nicely on your G7X. The microphone itself actually looks very similar to the Video Micro from Rode and it's also a cardioid unidirectional mic so I wonder if it actually sounds the same. And now we're comparing the Rode Video Micro to the Comica microphone which looks pretty similar but how does it sound? And now you are listening to the CVM VM102 from Comica. And now we're switching to the internal microphone from the G7X. This is the internal audio of the G7X Mark III. It's pretty hard to tell the difference, right? Which is kind of remarkable for a microphone in this price range and you get the whole package with it as well. The specs on this one are slightly different like the frequency range, the sensitivity and the signal to noise ratio, but I think it sounds pretty similar to the Rode Video Micro. You are listening to the outside audio of the Rode Video Micro. Switching to the Comica microphone, external microphone, connected to the G7X. There are some cars, there is some wind. This is the internal audio of the G7X outside. But there's one thing I actually like more about this one, and that is the tiny shock mount. Because with this shock mount, you can put your camera down. So it's meant for use with your smartphone, but if you change the cable, 
It's actually quite a nice fit with the G7X. I've been using this setup for a few months now and I'm very happy with the results. Is denk ik 50 meter naar de vorst in. Zeker. Maar er staan niet gillend in tussendrangen nee. hekken. Uh... En toen hebben we dus uh, toen hebben we meegelopen in de optocht. Het is een dichtbij man. Er zit een microfoon op. Er kruimel die. Ik heb denk ik één keer een hele geluisterd. Zaak maar droombaar ja. Olivier de danscoach en Michiel de zangcoach. Ja, kinder, kinderen heel erg mis. Uh. The only small downside about this setup is if you're interviewing someone like this, you will hear their answers loud and clear, but your questions will be very soft because you're talking to the back of the microphone, which doesn't record any sound. And this is what the microphone sounds like when you're behind the camera and interviewing your cat, for example. So sometimes I have to go like this. Hello, how are you? Uh, which works well, but <laughs> it looks ridiculous. That's it for now. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any tips or questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you're curious about my vlogs, there is a playlist with some uh, vlogs with English subtitles, which will be in the end screen coming up now. Bye. The frequency, the frequency, frequency, like the frequency, fre frequency, frequency.